So I finally brought my big bright LED light from over at my old house. Let me just show you guys real quick. I'm gonna leave you on the tripod. This is my light. Finally brought it. Now I gotta fix this camera again. Hopefully, hold up, too close. Hopefully I'm better lit. Hold on, I gotta fix this camera again. This, I'm all messed up. Hold up, give me a second. The lighting in this video should be very immaculate. I actually got my softbox light from home. I wish I could show you guys because I don't but I don't want to mess up the angle. What I want to talk about is sacrifice. Like basically what I sacrificed. Making YouTube videos is not cheap, it's not easy. When I first started, I started with this camera here, it was 129. A couple months later, I upgraded to this camera. Same price, 129. It's the same exact camera, just different colors. Neither one of them have a front face and a screen. So that's what I started with when I first started making videos. Then I upgraded to this camera here. It's a Samsung camera. It's a front face and screen here. But unfortunately, I don't have a charger for this. So I can't really show you this camera. This was the next camera. Then I got a bigger camera, a Nikon camera this one here but only thing about this is it actually takes double A batteries which go in here and this camera only works for like 20 or 30 minutes it eats up batteries no matter what kind so I don't use this camera at all then this was my biggest purchase this camera was $850 this was the first camera I ever got with a flip up screen and I bought another lens because the lens detaches on this so I bought another lens that was $300. So all together with this camera and the extra lens it was $1150. Yeah, it was $1150. And then I bought this camera here that I'm using. This camera was $430. I got this one a couple months ago. But I didn't like the image quality. I'm starting to like it more now. I don't know. There's something about this lighting just brings out the image quality in this camera so much better. And I like to focus on this camera because I can actually focus on my phone. With this camera here, the focus sucks. I think this was the Canon MKT or something like that. And this camera, like I said, it was 850. I got it online. This was I was like so happy to get this camera. Also, you gotta buy the laptop. That's a good deal of money. You gotta buy or pay for it. Editing the software. The editing software I use, I gotta pay every year. So it's like $189 that I gotta pay every year. So you gotta buy the camera. You gotta buy the lights. You gotta buy, it's a lot of stuff that go into YouTube. But when you first start, you just use a camera. You use what you got. Like when I first started, I used to use books and I used to use cups, anything as a tripod until I actually bought myself a tripod. This tripod that I'm using now cost me $122. And this is one of the best tripods that I think I ever used because I broke every single last other one. And I bought three softbox lights. That was $189. So I would say all together with all this stuff, I did like a little tally when I got a list. I done spent $2,217. Between buying all this stuff and that's outside of this camera and paying for editing software for five years because I've been doing YouTube since 2015 so it's not easy and it's not cheap and you got to pay for so much stuff it's just so much stuff that goes into YouTube behind the scenes that people just don't talk about or don't show how you got to pay for cameras you got to pay for editing software because you want to make the best best videos possible you want to have the best quality you want to have you know because you competing with a billion other people around the world or well not really competing but you you still want to get views you want people to watch your stuff but it's very easy to fall into the trap of everybody saying oh you spent this much money on this and what did you get in return you spent this much money on this what you get in return it takes money to make money that's what I always say that's what I always tell myself I got a little bit of faith in myself. Well, I got a lot of faith in myself. And I think I'm going to grow this YouTube channel. I don't know how long it's going to take. It's been five, going on six years. I'm going to grow this YouTube channel. You just watch and see. 
but I cannot get over how perfect this lighting is because back a couple months ago when I used this light it used to be like a shadow in the background it's no shadows behind you nothing everything just it looks so good crisp and clean and I gotta look when I put this this footage in my camera and see how it look it may look good on here you gotta see when I put it in my camera how good it looks because I think I'm going to start using this camera more often. Uh, at first, I didn't like the quality, so I went back to this camera. But now that I got this perfectly big, bright light, let me show you. Let me see. I'll take you off the tripod. Boom. This light right here. I actually got I actually got two of them, but I only brought one because I only have one for one. Here we go. Snap that back in place. Yeah, but that's the major thing about YouTube. Like, it's it's a lot of money and behind the scenes stuff with YouTube. You gotta pay for cameras. You gotta pay for light. And like, I do everything myself. Nobody ever taught me how to edit a video. Nobody ever taught me about lighting, how to set up lights. Nobody ever taught me anything. I taught myself everything that I know. <laughs> so I attribute that a little bit, cause. I do all my filming, I do all my editing, I do all my lighting setup, I don't have a production team, I don't have anybody helping me with video ideas or anything, I do everything on my own, that's why I think it's so much harder for me, but that's all I really want to talk about in this video guys, I just want to come on and talk about the real behind the scenes stuff on YouTube, like how much money it costs to actually run a YouTube channel, because you gotta pay for cameras, lighting, if you do got a production team, you gotta pay your production team and all that i'm just like if your channel is growing and you're making money that's fine you can get a production team but like me for my channel i'm a small creator i'm not making any money at all so i can't afford to pay somebody to run a camera i can't afford to pay someone to set up the lights over here or pay somebody to edit this or shoot this or do that so i do everything on my own i make my own thumbnails and everything so Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please, if you're new here, please subscribe. Oh my God, I said messed up this ankle. If you're new here, please subscribe to this channel. Don't let my money go to waste. Because I think, and what did I say that number was? I think I said 2000 or something. Let me see. $2,217. That's excluding all of the years I've been paying for editing software. That's besides this camera. That's besides my other two laptops that I use before this. And I got to pay yearly for my editing software. So right now I'm looking at about $4,097 in debt just from making YouTube videos. Awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please, if you're new here, subscribe. And I will see you tomorrow. I'm going to have a different kind of video. I'll see you tomorrow. So let's do a price list. These two cameras are on 129. This camera 250. This camera $89. This camera $850. And I got another lens, $300. $1150 altogether. Computer 169. Editing software 179. Uh Extra laptop, $150. Another laptop for this, $189. A uh, softbox lights, $180. So that's the price list for everything. And I have spent a lot, 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 lot of money over the years on my YouTube channel. So I'm hoping I'm not doing this for nothing. I'm going to keep grinding, keep working, keep thinking of ideas, and keep posting. Thank you guys for watching.